guys, I am back with another Sims 4 house remodeling, and today we're still in, I believe it's called Willow Creek, not really sure, and we're still in that same neighborhood, redoing another, like, one bedroom house, and this one's called Daisy Hovell. So, right now I'm just putting in new shrubs, but then I end up taking some of them away anyways because I wanted to create this pathway to the backyard because it was like a really big open space on the side of the house that I wanted to use. Now just trying to figure out what like doors and windows I should be using I because I wanted to keep the house the blue theme that it was on the outside, but I forgot to redo the flooring in the front of the house and yeah <laughs> so just redoing the stairs I hate how you can't change the wallpaper that's on the stairs on the side like the siding it just really bothers me because you see out stone and then on the stairs it's like white siding and I couldn't really do much with the roof it was kind of boring I don't know that roof was like uh, there was no depth to it and the inside oh yeah I got rid of the wall because it just seemed so close off I couldn't decide if I wanted to make this a girl's house or a boy's house, so I kind of wanted to keep it very gender neutral for the living room slash kitchen, so I decided to go with like a tan cream colored theme, and um, I don't believe I used any expansion pack stuff or stuff packs, I don't know. I really don't like the Halloween stuff pack that's coming out. Like. They could have given that to us for free like they did with all the Christmas stuff and like if they're charging us money for the Halloween thing, I, ex I expected new hairstyles but there isn't. There's just new furniture, new clothes, and new interactions in game. No new hair. Therefore I am not paying for that. I think that's this, the Halloween stuff pack thing that's coming out is going to be the first one that I do not purchase because I have everyone up until now. And I was trying to figure out, I was, I didn't want to do like all cream colored furniture because that just looks weird. So I tried to mix it up and put some brown in there or something like instead of just gold and cream and just putting a little study area and I was trying to find a coat rack but apparently there isn't one in the Sims 4 which makes me sad. I tried to keep with the blue bed that was in here from before and the space was really small not really much to work with which I'm not really complaining about because I suck at decorating bedrooms so it's cool it's cool but I really can't find those like knickknacks that you're supposed to be putting on top of things I always just end up picking the same thing um this whole bathroom almost the whole bathroom is from spa day I just really like the spa day stuff especially the bathtubs like yo if I had that in my house I'd be taking a bath every day even though it's a waste of water <laughs> now trying to figure out doors that take up two spaces like the ones that were there before but I couldn't find any which was weird I thought there would be plenty but there's not oh yeah and I used half walls in the kitchen because um they added that into the game unlike toddlers <laughs> I, I probably sound so salty in this video but like I don't know just fed up with the sims 4 like First, it, that Rachel, Sim Girl, the person in charge of the game basically said, we're happy with no toddlers, and if it's gonna happen, it's not happening anytime soon. And I'm like, shit. And then they come up with this Halloween thing that they could have gave us for free or just like taking out some of the stuff. Just like, Sims, what are you doing? What are you doing? It just makes me not really want to play the game anymore. I mean, honestly, I haven't really been playing the Sims at all. I just decided to um, pick this up and do a rebuild because it's easy, you know, you just do your own style, put your own stuff in. I don't know, but like playing The Sims like with a family or anything, I don't know, it's just boring to me now, which is horrible. Like I haven't played my 100th baby challenge in like a month, I'd say, which is bad. Because it ain't fun no more at all. I don't know, just disappointed. Uh, I'm salty right now. Salty as fuck. <laughs> But I was trying to figure out like a coffee table to put there, but none of them fit. So I, because I wanted to put a coffee table and a lamp. Then I guess just by putting a standalone lamp and adding in lighting. Then I had to do the outdoors. I really did not plan this out at all. It looks like a horrible outdoors. I should have put in a fence or something, because you could just see everything that's going on. 
Oh, I just put in a pool. It's differently shaped. I was like, might as well use this tool. Never used it before. And I was putting a little, like, yoga center where you can relax. And I put in a bar, because, like, why not? You got a pool, you got a bar. I couldn't find the horseshoe game, so that never happened. I was going to put that out there, though. I couldn't really figure out any other outdoor activities to do. So I just left it at that. Just a pool and a bar. I mean, I'd be happy with that in my backyard, sure. I'm putting in some like flowers and like stones and stuff around the trees to make it look more realistic and lights and stuff. Now we're going into screenshots so I hope you guys enjoyed this little house remodel and I'll see you guys next time.